So we're finally at the end stage of this project. We've just got a couple of things left to do and then we can wrap it all up. So next up, we'll just add in a couple of extra tiles on the home page so the user can quickly test any random five cards, any 20 cards, or randomly test all of the cards. So just any simple images to reflect that. I'll also make these images available if you'd like to use these ones. So in images, paste these in. We'll jump to the home page first of all. So here the variable topics populates the grid view on the home page. So we'll just insert the extra three tiles that we want. So to do that, we'll write topics, insert all. We want to insert this at the beginning. So we'll start from index zero. And now we'll write in random five, random 20, and test all. And cool, we've got random five, random 20, and test all. So now when we click these cards, we need them to do something. So let's jump into flashcards notifier. So we can just update the if else statement. So if this is the first round, inside of here, we want to populate selected words based on the selection. So if the topic is equal to review five, so the topic will be set based on the name that we've put in, then in this case, copy selected words, dot clear, paste this in, and then we'll use a for loop, selected words, dot add, words at the index of i. So words is our full data list. So this is the first option, else if, and let's copy this code here, topic equals random 20, so this should actually be random, not review. Paste in this, and we'll make this 20. So obviously just need to have at least 20 words in the full data list. Else if topic equals test all. In this case, selected words, first clear that, will be set to words to list. So all of the words. And lastly, if the user is not in the review page, it'll just populate by topic. Now, because we're selecting the first five entries, we should first shuffle the list of words. So up here, we'll write words.shuffle. Okay, so now let's test this out. Do a hot restart, jump in, and now we should have five cards. Cool, we had five cards. Let's test all. And we can see by the progress bar at the bottom, we'll flick through all of the cards. Okay, cool, so this is just now a handy feature for the user to just jump in and do a random test. Now lastly, we're just going to fix up a couple of small bugs with the game. First of all, if we jump in, flip a card around, exit, jump back in, we have a problem with the cards not resetting. So this is an easy fix. What we need to do is when we exit the app, we need to reset card one and reset card two back into their default positions, the original positions. So when we clear reset, we'll select reset card one and reset card two. Now let's test this again jump back in, flip this around, exit, jump back in, and those cards have reset back into the proper position. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that little bug. We also have a bit of a problem with the settings, not syncing up exactly as it should. So if we jump into cards display, the first problem is, is that I've accidentally typed in show pinion, so this should be audio only. Additionally, for the second condition, we should not write show pinion here. This should be if set English first is false because we already set the show pinion condition here. So therefore this will just fix up the display. And lastly, on the same note for the second card, we'll set set English first is false here. So let's test that out. Hot restart. Jump in. So we'll turn set English first off. 
So we have the Chinese first, flip that around, and we have the English. Let's put the English on first. And cool, flip that around, and we have the Chinese. Now on the second card, I also think it makes sense if we put the text to speech button on this too. So I think that looks quite good. And on the same note, we'll display this on the first card too. So therefore, if it's the Chinese, we'll have the option for the user to listen as well. Okay, so now the settings button should correctly control what's shown on the flashcards. Okay, awesome. So let's give this app one last test drive and see how it all comes together. So hot restart. So we have the home page. We have all these different topics. You can keep adding topics. Let's first reset the settings. Settings reset. We'll jump into a topic. We've got the guide boxes. Got it. So seashell. Flip that around and we have the answer. We can play text to speech. We'll flip that away and we can keep flipping through the cards. The progress bar is looking good and the animation is feeling really intuitive. We can save the incorrect cards. Incorrect card saved. Let's jump into the review page. The cards fly into action. We can remove a card. We can update what's displayed on the card. And we can test the card straight away. So if we do a hot restart, jump back in, we have Seashell is still saved in our review page. So our data is persisting. All right, so that brings us to the end of this project. I'm sure there are heaps of different ways to improve the code and build on this app. So for example, one way would be to turn all of this source data here and manage it with a SQLite database. I think that will be a lot easier. Or instead, we could hook it up with a cloud-based database like Firebase. We could add other features in too, like split the vocabulary up by difficulty and other ways to test the words. But I think we can leave it here. So I'll make the source code and images available if you'd like to check those out. Thanks for following along. Hope you've enjoyed the videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.